a by-election calamity for the British Conservatives. Three, two, one. Boris Johnson's ruling party defeated in a riding that has voted Tory for two centuries. I totally understand people's frustrations. I, I hear what the, the voters are saying in North Shropshire. And uh, in all humility, I've got to uh, accept uh, that, that verdict. Amid scandals, infighting and poor poll numbers, the once Teflon-like leader is now in trouble. For a start, the by-election was avoidable. The local Tory MP had been found guilty of breaking lobbying rules. Johnson tried to stop him being suspended, but after a backlash, the Prime Minister U-turned and the MP had to quit. I uh, accepted that, that it was a, a mistake and that it was my mistake. Then came his response to a wave of allegations that Tory staff held Christmas parties last year while indoor mixing was banned. I can tell you that the guidelines were followed at all times. Only for this video leak to emerge from Downing Street. This is recorded. This fictional party was a business meeting. <laughs> And it was not socially distanced. Plus a photo of Johnson himself allegedly hosting a trivia night. The nose to the left, 126. Add to that a quarter of his own MPs rebelling against tighter pandemic rules. And it's time for some British baseball metaphors. First of all, the Conservative Party in the House of Commons earlier this week. Um, now this result. One more strike and I think he's out. Strong words from his own ranks for a leader whose carefree style may be wearing thin. From being a kind of, you know, bumbling, um, you know, rules don't apply kind of person that everybody sort of laughed along with, it's now become, yeah, this guy doesn't follow the rules. He's become the issue. Political watchers think Tory MPs believe they need new leadership before the next election, more than two years away. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a leadership challenge in the summer. Johnson has defied odds before, but could now be facing his toughest battle yet. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.